Hi, we are group number three, made up of Eva Chicón, Yacel Marte, Brian Medina, Katie Santiner, Ana Servan, Bianca Castillo. And we are going to discuss during this video a very interesting topic that is mystery and hoaxes. In our case, we will deal with one of the strangest mysteries in the world, one of the greatest mysteries in human history, the lost city of Atlantis. We will talk about what this story is about, what we think happened, the theories that confirm it, and our opinion of, on the subject. I hope you enjoy this video. Plato told the story of Atlantis around 360 BC. The founders of Atlantis, he said, were half God and half human. They created a, a utopian civilization and became a great naval power. Their home was made of concentric island, islands separated by wide moats and linked by a canal that penetrated to the center. The lush islands contained gold, silver, and other precious metals and supported an abundance of rare exotic wildlife. There was a great capital city on the central, in the, on the central island. The legend of Atlantis is a story about a moral, spiritual people who live in a highly advanced utopian civilization. But they became greedy, petty, and morally bankrupt. And the gods became angry because the people had lost their way and turned to, to immoral pursuits. As punishment, the gods sent one terrible night of fire and earthquakes that caused Atlantis to sink into the sea. The theory we chose tells us that Plato was wrong in the translation of the Greek numbers, pointing to thousands of years instead of hundreds. If Plato was really wrong, then both the description of the size and the temporal location of the island showed that this could have been the island of Crete, similar to the crater of Terra. Historians say that the eruption of Terra, which occurred between the, the 17th and 16th centuries, caused the great tsunami that wiped out civilization. This is where Plato would have been in spirit. Chris, but at this theory, I think that it's true because Plato is a human being like all of us and has the right to make mistakes. So it's not unusual that he was wrong and that he made a wrong translation. Also, according to the book, it says that it sank due to a disaster and this confirms this theory since in itself, it mentions that it was underwater due to a tsunami, a phenomenon that is considered a natural disaster. In addition to that, another argument that proves that, that this is true is that the specifications of the island of Terra have, uh, have many similarities so I, I do not consider it as a simple coincidence but rather as a description as such respect at this theory, I think that it is not true because there is a significant gap between the date of the eruption around 1615 BC and the final disappearance of the Minoan civilization approximately 14,000 BC. That means that the eruption, earthquakes, offshore and tsunami did not topple the Minoans. In fact, they started a uh, renaissance in art and its architecture after the eruption, building their largest structure and creating their best art. Thank you for listening and goodbye.